Hello again and welcome to video number two. In this video, we're covering the royal family and a little bit of Harry Meghan at the end because of some of the family stuff going on. So let's just jump in, shall we? Let's go. We're going to start off with Princess Anne. I just love her. We know she's the royal patron of the Motor Neuron Disease Association and she went to their conference at the Dunsilly Hotel. Sounds like she gave a fabulous speech. Okay, let's move on. Still sticking with Anne, she went a day or two ago to visit a state-of-the-art college called Southwest College. Of course, she was greeted by various staff members and uh, facilities within the college. People were saying that they were very impressed because she had a really big knowledge of each topic that they discussed with her. The focal point of the visit, of course, was the college's sustainability, and they actually have a fully passive building that opened in 2021. She got to see a robot that was showcased by local students. Uh, she got to see all kinds of interesting things. She also got to see a workhouse that had recently been redeveloped thanks to a grant from the National Lottery Heritage Fund. And the visit concluded when she planted a rowan tree. And what was really so funny was they went to hand her this little trowel and she goes, no, 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 give me the big one. And they handed her a huge shovel. It was absolutely typical, quintessential Anne. All right, let's move on. Okay, also with Princess Anne, I wanted to throw this in here. There's a documentary that's celebrating 75 years of the horse trials. And they're going to have interviews from Princess Anne, Zara Tyndall, the Duke of Beauf Beaufort, I think it's saying, and many more people from the equestrian world. That sounds like something I'd like to see. Moving on. Next up, we have Prince Edward, the Duke, who on April 10th, He's patron of the Tennis and Racket Association, and so he attended the Benefactors event at the Queen's Club. Next up, Zara Tyndall on Friday the 12th was seen at the Burnham Market International Horse Trials. Looking good up on that horse. Next up, really quickly, King Charles and Queen Camilla sent a lovely note to Australia uh, to let them know how horrified they were to hear about the horrible stabbing incident that took place in Bondi. Moving on. Princess Catherine, also horrified by the attack and the reports that one of the people attacked was a nine-month-old baby, also broke her silence and put out a statement. All right, really quickly, you guys should know that there is another sale of Princess Diana's gowns going up. Now, in this particular picture, you see the Midnight Blue Murray Hour Bead Gown. I hope I'm saying that right, by Lord Snowden in 1997. That's one of the ones going up for the charity auction. They should sell those pink opera gloves with it. Also, this yellow and navy Catherine Walker skirt suit that she wore to Hong Kong in 1989. They're also going to be selling things like handbags and hats and shoes. Now, this is a pair of Kurt Geiger emerald green satin vamp evening shoes and also her yellow and black felted wool turban style hat, both designed by Royal Milner Philip Somerville. Now, I do love this black lace and silk evening dress, which is also going up for auction with all proceeds going to charity. This is a fabulous thing. All right, let's move on. All right, I wanted to just touch on Sarah and Andrew because these two are the happiest divorced couple you've ever seen. They still live together at the Royal Lodge, the 30-room mansion in Windsor Great Park, and they sit down together for afternoon tea every day. Sarah Ferguson said, quote, we sit around the table and have afternoon tea together. It's a very important part of our lives. I got to tell you, I don't think I've ever seen such two happy divorced people <laughs> as these two. I'm surprised they haven't remarried. Moving on. Next up, we have Princess Beatrice, who was with her husband, Edo, and Ellie Goulding. They were at the Ellie Goulding served private party at the Royal Albert Hall on April 11th in London. All right, here we go, the good stuff. Prince William was seen out with Prince George at a football match. They went to see the Aston Villas play. Now, you know, they're on break for Easter, and I think they're trying to assure the kids that everything is fine. And so William said, hey, George, come on, let's go and watch this game play. So they went. Personally, I think it's fabulous that they're basically showing the kids that everything is well, they're out, they're doing their thing. I mean, and we know that um, 
William is a big fan, but obviously George is now a big fan too, taking after his dad. And he was wearing one of their scarves around his neck. I love this selfie picture. Look at that. <laughs> now, if you look to the right of George, you'll see another kid there. So I think that George had a friend with him. Nothing wrong with that either. Now would be a good time for him to be hanging out with his friends and keep his life as normal as possible. And as they were leaving, you could see him walking by. Then the kid goes by. So yeah, I think George had a friend with him at the soccer game or the football game, whatever you want to call it. Good for him. Good for the family taking him out. Man, George is getting tall and that is one good looking kid. All right, moving on. All right, here we go. Now, sticking with William, he apparently popped into a pub with Carol Middleton for a drink <laughs> over the weekend. Nothing wrong with that. Apparently, it's being reported allegedly that Carol Middleton has been staying with William and Catherine during Easter um, to help with the children, that their visit to the pub was very low key. There was no fanfare. They walked in, they walked out. Catherine wasn't there. Who cares? They enjoyed a pint. Good for them. We know that Catherine is very close to her parents. Her mom, Carol, is 69. Her father, Michael, is 74. And they're staying at the Anmer Hall estate in Norfolk uh, since Easter, apparently. She's continuing, Catherine is continuing her chemotherapy. And so they're probably there to help look after George, Charlotte, and Louie, who are, what, 10, 8, and 5. The idea is to keep Catherine from stressing out, you know, she's trying to also shield the mom of three from any, I don't know, stressors. I, for one, am glad that they're around to help. There's absolutely nothing wrong with being around to help other people, other family members in their time of need. Now, this visit to the pub really affected Harry's, you know, safety fears because William is just out there living his life. They drop the kids at school. Nobody bothers them. Carol and William drop into a pub for a drink. Nobody bothers them. The kids get invited to birthday parties. They go. Nobody bothers them. They have the respect of the UK people and people in the UK don't bother them. Just like when they were seen at that Christmas market or whatever, walking through. People recognize them. Nobody bothered them. It's pretty obvious at this point that Harry's paranoia is partially being fueled by Megan constantly harping in his ear about how dangerous the world is for them. All right, you guys, don't forget to leave those comments. Hit the like button, hit the subscribe button if you haven't done that already, and follow me over to video number three. Let's go.